If you liked the video, make sure to hit subscribe and turn the bell icon to all to be notified whenever this channel uploads. All right! Vertigo. This summer, you will play The Wolf Among Us. I said that before the title came on. It's time to click anywhere to begin. <coughs> I shouldn't be doing a voice like that. Ah, I, I'm still a little sick. I'm still a little sick. But, ah, I want to do an Optimus Prime impression, so here we go. Before time began, there was the cube. We are here to, to protect this planet and to play the wolf among us. Click anywhere to begin. Okay, I shall do it. I have done. I have done what you asked. Mr. Wolf among us. Okay, uh, we have news and we have new in the extras. Hold on a second. New in achievements. Wait, what? I thought I looked at these. Promising leads. Belly full of stones. What big eyes you have. Huff and puff. Severe case of lycanthropy. Enchanted land of New York City. Yeah, that, okay. I did look at all these. What is it? What is it saying that I have no extras? All right, just, just hush, you sweet little lips. All right. Episode four in sheep's clothing. Start episode four. All right. You all ready? We're about to begin. We're about to begin. In three, two, one, go. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? He wasn't wearing a hat. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, your God. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! A bad I wolf! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Ah, that's right. We got shot plenty of times, but because he's the main antagonist. Not main antagonist, protagonist. Sorry, the, the, the wolf bit threw me off. That's right, we we, we saved the Tweedle. Show, but Dear Dumb, I can't remember. Just take, well, her okay? mouth wasn't moving. Take Crane. Take him! Well, to the Shadow Realm! Ah, uh, still. Oh, God. Really, Don't show me that. Don't show me you breaking the bone! In with the new. Long live the queen. Ow. My arm was broken. But I'm okay. Look at me. He's okay. Okay, there's a bunch of blood leading to us. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. Oh, welcome, Silver my friend. Slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ow, I've been He'll shot. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? Uh, He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Still clueless, but I'll hang out. <laughs> well, if thanks. I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Uh, Easy there. Try not to move. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, he was shot. Oh! We can't keep him this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Well, perfect timing. For the All right, <laughs> first option. Uh, uh, oh.
so you can use my first communion presence. Oh, okay, Kobe. My friend here is is uh, is here to say hello, and I am saying hello back to him. Uh, but uh, chat, I know the, right now there's not too many uh, there to uh, vote. But uh, what to say? What happened to me? Am I going to be okay? Or my arm, my freaking arm. What happened to my arm? It was broken. You don't remember that? No. I think I would remember a bone sticking out of my arm. I'm becoming a skeleton. Soon my eye's gonna be glowing. I'm gonna go da 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 That was a vivid dream, bro. Yeah, it was. There's one for am I gonna be okay? I I don't know. I I are you go are you gonna be okay? Well, all right, we'll go with that. Just Am I gonna be okay? Let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move. Dear it. God, man! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life. You're supposed to keep your bones to in your body. Much, he can set it himself. That's basic science. Oh, we gotta set it ourselves. Wonderful. Dear, this is the worst cue. Oh, this is the worst cue. This is the worst cue. Up. This is the worst cue in the world. Oh, dear God, no. Left. Oh, I gotta look away from this cue. I don't like this. Oh, no. Oh, God, why? Oh. oh, dear God. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. That'll do, I suppose! And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. What do you mean it would... Hold on, how was he supposed to prevent himself from getting shot with silver bullets? That's something he can't control! Oh, man, you know, he didn't listen to me. Maybe he'll listen to you, but we were on a case. Yeah, and I got shot. I can't control that. Yeah, but you're attracted to bullets. What? What the? Well, you think I sure. wanted this? It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> you could have blocked the bullets with your magic shield. What? Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At you least can rub his hairy chest later. Out of the woods. Believe me. Bigby couldn't be in better hands, uh, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Oh, shoot. Oh, oh shoot. I should have been asking. <laughs> I actively discourage all bullets. <laughs> uh, I should have been asking. Um, stick around or right. Don't look snow or I'll be fine. <laughs> what should we say? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't look, anyone. I'll be fine. Uh, okay, well, I don't know if that's supposed to be for don't look snow. Uh, it's one for I'll be fine and don't look anyone. All right. Uh, freaking coin flip, I guess. Flip a coin. I knew it. I, I, I will. All right. Heads will be I'll be fine. And, uh, tail. I almost said B. That's not right. Tails will be don't look snow. Jeez Louise. Okay, it's don't look snow. We'd appreciate the headroom. Don't I'd, look. Uh, I'd prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be yeah. done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Just leave. Hey Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. 
It's finished when it's finished. It's been like a second, Because I once Colin. watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. There's blood oh, really? everywhere. Where am I supposed to uh, be? I'm here to take uh, care of my friend. Um, um... With what? Uh, Your who's? Hey, I'm just gonna say ellipses. Keep it down back there. Thank you. I'm not saying anything. I don't want to discourage anyone. God. <sighs> there. All done. Are you really? sure? How many this freaking bullets went into him? To. Having visits with me, and, well, Frick. this time... Wow, this time okay, he put that gauze on really quick. That was a snap shot, of a finger. Just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. My god, what does this guy say to someone whose house was broken into, and then there was this robber holding a gun, and the person holding the gun shoots the poor person in their house, they go to the hospital, and then suddenly, you know, it's just like, he's like, man, you know what, you should have taken better responsibility and not gotten shot. You are the worst doctor, man! <laughs> Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. And make sure to give him a freaking will. <laughs> bullet Only jacket. Rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep uh, it and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Uh, just ellipses I'll again. Try. We've got a lot of people wanting me to say ellipses, Anyways, so here we are. Guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff. <laughs> the Swiney. Someone in the chat just put, my diagnosis is, don't get shot again. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Oh, hey, Bigby got some more beer. So, how do you, um, feel? Better that you're here. It's Bigby, Snow. Uh... Okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Yeah, don't, don't worry. worry. Me, right? Don't worry. I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. Yeah. Colin will remember that. I'm glad you're not dead. What a great thing to say to your friends. I'm glad you're not dead. You could have been six feet under the ground, but I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, it's no. Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I'll just kiss already. I've never seen you like that. Uh, when Reinhardt arrived. You know him. He's never I'm here worried. for you. And even I'm here he for you, Snow. Him. Snow. You can pet my chest here any day. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You <laughs> look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. No, that's I'm a friend saying, response. <laughs> I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? Uh, What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys uh, have like, a plan there, or something? And who should I be asking? Uh, should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is uh, Crane still This defend? is a bigger thing. The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, also, those Snow, are you my might want to get a different change of clothes. I don't clothes think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. Thanks it's not for like I'm going to let Bloody Thanks Mary just and... murder. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No Thank problem. You. Thanks. For trading the bird. You're for not the pissed wolf. that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Uh, We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a snow strong did choice what she in that. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is. Yeah, he did. 
just someone what pointed does out that was a lot of blood. Yeah, my God, how is Bigby still alive? I know, like I know they're fables, and I know it takes a lot to kill them, but that's a lot of freaking blood. <laughs> It reminds me of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure where the protagonist can get shot or mutilated or anything and they're, they, you hear blood and it sounds like a waterfall. They're losing gallons upon gallons, yet they're able to stand up just fine and fight perfectly fine like it's nothing. Big B is an anime protagonist confirmed. want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about crime, right? Broke Getting him out of town? Eh, Is no this problem, all Kobe. about the murders? Crane uh. can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane, Crane was, was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? There's a lot I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But what? now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What You're does right. that mean? Never the go right down way. the left street. What do you street. think I mean? I don't know, but it's suspicious. We're never going down the left like street. Bigby's the one on the front uh, lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Hey, hey! Give it up for Colin! That's what I was saying last episode. Give it up for freaking Colin here. He, he's saying what I was thinking. Uh, also, someone put my dyslexia forgot how to spell your name, CW. I just put two letters, my first letter of my first name and my uh, first letter of my last name. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, left is it right unless it's from a different point of view. <laughs> what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Um, uh, okay, you know, I, I've been making a lot of choices here, everyone. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I've, I've just been invested in the story. I've just been playing this. Uh Oh, okay. There's one for what do you mean? What what are we going for here? We're doing our best here. I can only do things my way. Or what do you mean? There's one vote for ellipses. What do you mean? Okay, there's another for what do you mean? I'm turning into trunks. What do you mean? My name's Trunks. I'm I've come back to the past to understand what the hell is going on here. What do you mean? The choice on time my love asked that question. I uh, Well, to answer that question, I tried doing Detroit. Unfortunately, it did not work out well. PC version is trash. But uh okay, I see a lot of what do you mean? A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. You've been... So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town yeah, has enough got a monsters. Bit of a... What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters. I had the no other choice. Monsters. Easy for you to say. Colin, You're right. I, really I had no other choice. He was being snow shot. Is... Snow. He was being shot. What do you mean that can't happen again? Big B. Th this is like the doctor. You shouldn't be going out there getting shot. Shame on you for getting shot. Snow. He turned into a werewolf because he was getting shot by silver bullets. What the hell do you think he's supposed to do in this situation? What are you talking about? We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, hey, Colin's a Colin's a. How this is done. Just can I just say, Colin's like he's a 
give a round up for Colin there. He's a he's a pal. He's a real best friend here. Just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm I... practic. <laughs> okay, I know what I want to choose, but I'll let all you choose. Grade A pork right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm leaning towards thanks, Colin. Colin is being that homie. Yeah, he, he really is. He really is. I 100% agree with Colin here. There, yeah, there's a couple thanks for Colin. All right, yeah, I'm going for that. President of the thanks. Baby, don't be such a dick club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. Look at that smile. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm yeah. going to... I'm going to let you do it, Okay. It's just that... <laughs> it's about damn time. There's so much sexual tension between us, you can cut it with a freaking butter knife, Snow. That's not what I meant. Oh. Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay. At the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, uh, uh, Are you going to let her talk to uh, me like uh, that? Uh, it's been uh, a rule for a reason. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Everyone. Everyone. I know what I want to choose. What are we choosing? I don't understand enough to get it well. That's fine, buddy. <laughs> but I know what I want to choose in this situation. Like right now I'm not I'm not exactly the happiest at snow. I remember not being that happy around this part towards her. I understand she's like worried about everybody, but th this is going a little too far. This one for not enforcing it. <laughs> not enforcing it. Okay, that's two for not enforcing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One more, and I'm saying I'm not enforcing that. I, I I have my hand on the mouse right now. Calm down. Oh, dang it. The farm sounds very ominous. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing. The fact that, the fact that Colin keeps breaking out from it makes me wonder so many things. Also, couldn't Colin just sneak around... Because he's a freaking pig. Couldn't he just walk around as a pig and just not talk? I feel like that's something he could do. There's another not enforcing it. All right, that's, I'm going for that. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. That's no. not going to happen. Yes, it will. It's no, it won't. To enforce, no. Yeah. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Snow. Oh yeah. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Uh, Narissa. Narissa. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What Are you, you jealous? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You oh, well, I mean, <clears throat> I am uh, <clears throat> the big bad wolf. Well, Cohen's eyes. What about him? Do they glitch out? I, I, I may not have seen it. Uh, maybe it's about the fight. She probably knows something. No idea. In the last frame, I guess I didn't see it. Uh, thanks for inviting me, Charles. This is a very good game. No problem. And yeah, I agree. It is a very good game. Uh, as for what to say, yeah, no idea, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I know one of the people why they chose no idea because they actually have no idea because they don't know what's going on. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay. I literally, yeah, I literally have no idea. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll go for no Always idea. Always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. 
Maybe everyone was just slightest. just pet my beard okay. and my my chest hair. I should hair, get back to the business office. My hair. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. No, keep Consider them on. The discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Yeah. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, Absolutely are you? Absolutely not. I mean, she's Absolute... real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I'm so. Look, I wouldn't do that to you. Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. That's right. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. No problem. You chose friendship over the rules. Yes! I chose friendship over the rules! That's right! Always choose friendship! Nobody wanted you to keep wearing those blooded rags. Yeah. Yeah. No, but listen. Colin has been... He's just been on Big B's side. I 100% agree with him. Just... Yeah. But you might want to get back in the apartment there. Colin. Uh, we shouldn't have had that bullet sandwich. Oh, hello. Ah, now the intro. All right. Protect the attack, but most importantly, he loved to pick back. <laughs> yes. Precisely. Among us. Ah, uh, all oh, that silver in my guts gave me a gesture. <laughs> nice. Episode 4 In Sheep's Clothing. Ha, oh, hello there, pretty lady. It is good to say. I know yes. this. Hello, Nerissa. What if, what if Bigby had that voice? Hello there, everyone. I'm the big bad wolf man. Don't you worry about a thing, okay? I'm here to help. Have a seat. So what are you doing in my office, pretty lady? I wish I had one of those hot. It's freaking hot. <laughs> I, um, are you okay? I've been shot, but you yes. You didn't look good last night. Uh, I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I've been better. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> yeah. Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. Yes, but do you get it? Because I'm the. Because I'm the big bad wolf, and I, and I huffed, and puffed, and blew a house down. Do you get it? Do I need to hammer this into your head anymore? I'm the big bad wolf. Is it getting through to your head? Yeah. Okay. Good. Off. I don't hate this game. Uh, what brings you Thanks. here? So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. Oh my god. You know that. Oh my god. I figured it out why she's here. Before I let it continue. I figured it out. The reason why she's here. Bigby paid her for a night. And she's here to reciprocate. So that cell crane <laughs> was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. She want that wolf, yeah. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. 
maybe that'll work again. Yeah. You can try. I just... Uh, you have more on Crane? What's Crane it said? Uh, is this about the Crooked work. Man? You're here because the Crooked Man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. So that's a yes. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes... We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Uh... You can trust me. You're saying you need a friend right now. You can oh, I can be me. a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I can be your friend if you know what I mean. <laughs> we can play video games. That like fun? All right, the case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, later. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Then it's time for friendship! So I hope you're looking after yours. I look out for you? everyone. Should I respect my friends? Are my friends in danger? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. Your lips are sealed. Your lips are but sealed. Your lips are sealed. So that's another yes. I'm. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, I it's fine. I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? It's a tool of control. I'm Do trying you? to help you. Uh, it's a tool no, of control. Man, it's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's yeah. why you can't tell me anything. Marissa will remember. It's that. the ribbon, isn't it? What's happening now, Big B? What are you doing? What are we doing, Big B? Big B, what are you doing? Big B, Big B, Big B! Oh, thank God! Thank God it's a choice! Thank God it's a choice! Can't we just take the ribbon off? Any way to break the spell, remove the ribbon. I know which one I want to choose. What do you all think we should choose? Uh, something tells me removing that ribbon is a bad idea, though. <clears throat> any way to any way any way to break the spell any way to break any other way okay all right yeah 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 that spell crane talked about is there any way to break it is there something no, no, i can do no about no it? You, you no keep your head away what? Keep you can't. Just stay back. All right, all right. You it's can't all right. Do that. It's okay. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. It's gonna be all right. Please, don't. Marissa will remember that. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. Just calm down. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Uh, we gotta comfort her. Come on, we got comfort her with your big bad wolfiness. Marissa will remember that. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. Don't worry, you got a Listen, wolf in front of you, Sheriff, honey. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a oh, lot of... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, everyone. Uh, what are you afraid of? Sure thing, I have to tell Snow. Trilipses. Triple the lips. Lipple the trips. 
Get the purple, uh, get the puppy eyes. Sure thing, sure thing. Okay, th there's two sure things. One more, one more. Come on, one more, and we'll have a triple sure thing. What are you afraid of? Oh, there's another. Okay, we have what are you afraid of? We have two sure things, one ellipses. All right, what are we going for? What are we going for? Hey, we have a sure thing. We have a, what are you afraid for? I have to tell snow ellipses. What are we going for here? What are we going for? I thought that would have convinced one of you to put something else, but okay. Uh, what are we going for? So far, there's two sure things. I bid. <laughs> I bid 10,000. Okay. Seems like we're going for sure thing, because it has the two. It has the two sure thing. Trouble. I won't sure. tell anyone. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. Thank you. No problem. There's a lot of ladies that want this wolf. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please sure you do, Snow. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, now she's wearing... You, but I don't know she's how wearing it darker is. colors. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, no. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. My God. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think uh, you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you hey, don't have to go. Hey, 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 Well, what a... Very subtle hint. You should go that to was, your next uh, place. It won't oh, waste sister. your time. Okay. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Uh. Did you get anything from uh, her? Uh. She told me enough. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Yeah. Okay then. Good work. So about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked uh, man? They called for or a reason. Or do you think Beauty they just heard about last night? And they're scared Beauty got a loan about from what's him. been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can mm -hmm. only imagine what they're thinking now. So I just want to point out right now, I, I know this is live for everyone here, but... Uh, I will put this up on YouTube. So everyone on YouTube, I just looked at my chat and it seems a lot of people are talking about Lego candy. Okay. You'll talk what you want to talk about as long as it doesn't go too far about any profanity or anything like that or political talk. Talk about Lego candy. <laughs> We need to solve this before something else happens. I Who love knows Lego candy. What? Well, to each their own. I have other matters to attend to. And what is that? Snow! Tell your puppy dog! I'm a good boy. I sniff out crime you with this nose. You were in your with good reason. Look what happened. Oh, sure. Back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret, too? You know what it was. Uh, let's open the door. I just open it. And you wouldn't have okay, we get, we gotta politely knock. It's okay. the principal. Open up. It's Big B. Oh. What do you want? Well, Don't be rude. You're just going you, around knocking on doors. You called, you right? You called. Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet she told me that her favorite secrets, kind of animal I'm wolves. I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Invite me in. Don't let me in, or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. 
Um, Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Um, why are you having marital <laughs> problems? I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Holy crap, they're living in this luxury. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. All right, let's look here. We can trust him. Mm. Not after the way he Talk about living in the past. And then you run Aww. him again? Well, I tried Beauty had brown hair. He was keeping secrets for you. Armori. little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? Uh, okay, look at this urn. I almost, We're I thought it was a face. And answers. That's why I called. Okay. Uh, finish this later. Look at the chandelier. You know the electric bill is for that thing. Fine. Probably very high, I would imagine. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. Uh, what are you trying to say, huh? Did you aren't come to you in debt? Tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? Mm hmm I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just uh, trying to do what's best for us. What kind so of trouble, kind of trouble, are, trouble you are you in? Either it's the money, or it's Stop something arguing. else. arguing. I'm here to help. I gotta know one thing first. What okay. if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens. If you're honest, I'll protect you. Other people are in danger. I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't uh, give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. They will remember that. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we oh, over okay. Okay. I, I, I get it. So I get they didn't want to give up living a cushy life. So they decided to go to this shady guy you literally called the crooked man. And they thought, hey, this is a great idea. We can just go over there, and we can take out money, and this will come to bite us in the butt. <laughs> oh my god. Who would we be if we just lived like... Normal people? You'd be normal! Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Stop, beast. <laughs> We're not done here. And we can't should... come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time Whose to start voice thinking is that? about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The yeah, play the safe. His, one way or another. All I Who care about that? is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I Who's didn't Jersey? Know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. 
I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was an Again, I can, I, I, can, I can see now that we're... I can see it was a mistake to talk to a guy called the freaking crooked man. You gotta use your freaking sense, beauty! <sighs> Chance is playing and we're all just talking about candy. Hey, you all do what you want as long as I uh, stop and say, Hey, what do we say here? Well, I haven't done for a bit, and I'm sorry, I need to do a little bit more of that. In a display case. Watching the video. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot- Okay, here! <laughs> here, what do we say here? Mary got the axe from there. I only care about my investigation. Why would you ever go there? Actually, yeah, Mary did have the woodsman, uh, woodsman's uh, axe. Someone just asked, Chance, do you know the Muffin Man? <clears throat> Allow me to recite a little bit of a part from a movie that came out so long ago, known as Shrek. <clears throat> All right. All right. I'll tell you. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man, who lives on Drury Lane. Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! She's married to the Muffin Man. Yes, I do know the Muffin Man. Anyway, what are the choices? Marry the axe, okay. What that going around? There we go. Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise. <coughs> the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... And what? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, Did you, you deliver I to the work? Work. Listen to me crooked very man. carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It Is never seems so? to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Okay, really quick. I already know what's gonna happen. I mean, I don't already know. It's been years. I know some bits here and there. But I can already tell it's going to be like, do we go to the butcher or do we go to the pond? So that's going to be the two choices. I already know what's going to happen here. Butcher or pond. What are we going to do there? I'll let you all decide in the chat while this plays out. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still... Mary's always there. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. She it broke my freaking arm! I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. Well, we I, I don't know. Maybe if you would sell all your freaking fancy stuff, you'd be able to live a cushy life, you idiots! Royalty once. 
We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. Why did you leave then? Why did you leave? Why did you come here? You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to. I don't to. need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So no chance they already where are you going? sold the talking furniture. <laughs> you're oh my god, you're right. Where did the all of the all of the servants go? What the heck happened to them? You're you're actually right. Where did they go? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Okay, let me see what you all said. Butcher, butcher, knife guy. Okay. Okay, that seems like uh, a lot for Butcher. I'll let you all try to vote here now. Are we going to the Butcher, or are we going to the Lucky Pawn, all right? Where we going? We going to this pawn shop? Get Big B some nice jewelry, get get a gold earring for snow, maybe pick up a nice little, uh, little wedding ring or something, or are we going to the Butcher to get him some nice, clean, cut of some ribeye steak you know that juicy goodness you know put it on the fryer cook it up as a delicious little freaking steak where are we going all right well, let's see we got uh butcher pawn butcher pawn pawn is safer because b said me okay so we got uh all right oh okay. oh goodness all right Pawn, butcher, butcher. All right, and then I I don't know what this last person is saying. I just don't get shot. You're right. <laughs> That's the thing we need to remember. Because if we get shot, we'll upset the... Okay, butcher. All right. If we get shot, we'll upset the doctor. Oh, you got shot again? What did I tell you? We'll upset Beauty, too. She's going to be upset because we get shot. We need a bulletproof vest. That's what we need. Three butch, two pawn. All right, looks like we're going to the butcher. You know that butcher shop, the cut of- I do. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby- How many stakes? Word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. All right, he said don't get bullet titus. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, <coughs> but is there any way you could help us out? Five million stakes. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you Are they say? asking? Can you Are they asking to kill the crooked man? Is that what you're asking? Right now, you're asking for him to commit manslaughter? You want me to kill him? I'll handle it. I don't fix debts. What do you all say, chat? I don't know. Like, Beauty and the Beast, they seem like fine, and I kind of understand where they're coming from, but good God. I don't fix debts. You want me to kill him? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Jeez Louise. I'll handle it. Wow, okay, very divisive so far. I don't fix debts. You want me to kill him? I'll handle it. Yep. Um. I'm going to have to need at least one or two more votes on one of these options. I don't fix debts. Okay, there's two. I don't fix debts. All right, I don't fix debts. You help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind. They will remember Please. that. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oh, now you're trying to freaking... Now you're trying to guilt trip him because he's not gonna take care of your business? My god. Some of these characters... Oh, stop smoking. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I was looking at chat. I should have stopped. Or paused. Uh, we support NYPD. Okay, cool. 
Please ring the bell for service. I heart NYC. Beef cut. Knew it! Oh, God. <laughs> cut above butcher shop. All right, we got a... Uh, what do we got? We got a package. Examine that package. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Yeah, say that out loud, Bigby. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before, at the Tweedles. Well, it kind of looks like a crooked man. I wonder what that could be. Don't bring Colin here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you got lemon juice. That's good. I don't know. Do pigs eat meat? Do pigs eat, like, steak or anything like that? Huh. I'm sure, right? Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Hmm. Fair point. Oh, hello there. Pick How you doing? Wolf? Yo, what's up? <clears throat> Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? I love myself a ribeye. Um, rare. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. What's going on here? Gohan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. We Pigs eat sell meat. Okay. Did you want to buy something? Yes. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I don't would. Uh, uh, mind if I look around? Here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? Yeah. I guess not. If you're a I, professional Sheriff, business, I... not shady at all. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. Just press the I, button. I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. He just pressed a oh, button. I just have to go see. He just pressed a button. Go through that door. Shit. I know it. He has more back here. Oh, God. Colin would be losing his freaking mind if he was here. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. It's all cow. All cow petite. Looks like it may be spoiled, though. A lot of spoiled meat. I'll be right there. I'm coming to help you. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. A standing ovation. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Don't you lie to me. Come on, damn it. What's going on back there? Huh? I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? No, that's fat, not mold. Oh, you got it. Okay. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> What's going on? He's gonna get me killed. Tap him on the shoulder. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please. Okay, talk or else. Okay, calm down. Slam him! Slam his freaking face into the door! Just keep beating him to death until he's bleeding out onto the freaking ground! Or calm down. There's one for calm. Okay, there's talk. There's slam him. <laughs> uh, let's see... You play in Fallen Order, right, Chance? Yes, I did. Calm down. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Calm down. Well, hello there. Welcome. We're going to calm him don't down. Come. Please, okay, don't calm down. kill just me. Calm down. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Well, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, 
Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple uh, choice to make in the moment. Easy. I'll deal with what's behind the door. The deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. Hey, don't worry I about it. I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. Uh, That's all I'm supposed to do. Who locked the door? BS? Deckham? Ellipses. That's one for BS. Actually, someone put bull number, number, number. Deck him. Bull S word. Wath bacon slab. Bzz. Okay. I've, I've actually, I haven't been back there in years. So you are a part of this. You've been bullshitting me this whole time. Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door. Tell me what I need to know, now. I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Crew? The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Uh... Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. I've heard enough, or let him talk. What are we gonna say? I've heard enough. Let you talk? Okay, it is one, let him. Uh, I heard enough. Don't accept your crane lollipops from the butcher. I wasn't, I don't, what? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. What do you mean? There's one, let him talk. No, there's two. Okay, hold on. There, there's one, two. If I could remember to count, that's two for let him talk. And that's one for I heard enough. Are we going to get another vote? Or are we just going to let him talk? Let him speak. Don't accept the pops. I don't know what you mean. You need for... <laughs> No, you don't need to count for me, friend. I know how to do it, okay? There's one, 38, two, 76, 98, 24, two. I know how to count. All right, we'll let him talk. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. Uh, I swear. You're a liar? Okay, I believe you. Victim will see. You're a liar. Okay, I believe you. Victim will see. Or ellipses. I don't know why I turned into Optimus Prime. Okay, I believe you. That's one vote. We'll see. Uh... <laughs> because Prime finds the truth, you're right. You're right. I believe, I believe. I want the... Hmm? You want the ellipses? That voice sounds painful. It's actually not. It seems we're going to go for... I believe. Okay, we should believe in you. Okay, man. Right. I believe you. Calm down. Johan will I knew this would him. happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. And to listen. Alright, what's gonna happen? Is someone gonna jump scare? 
All right, time for some queuing action. Cute! Oh. oh dear God, what is happening, Meg? Here. Chance knows how to push air through his throat and not his voice box making the rumble. I don't what know what you place? mean. I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Oh. Warning lights. Oh! Is that right? It's all you I've ever had. Damn, you can't escape. act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. He'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You think I want to live with this at my I'll sort back? this out, I okay? It's gonna be all now. right. Don't worry I'm about it, man. Out. It's gonna be all right. Don't you worry, Mr. Butcher. I believe you. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. All right, let's take a look at these chains over here. Jeez. What we got? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Listen, man, they're into some kinky stuff. I don't watch. I just know that's what they do back here. There's a whip lying around here somewhere if you want to take a look. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-greenleaf and... <laughs> Any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. All right. All right, let's see. Let's Maybe just look. don't touch anything back here, please. Hush! You already told me about their kinks. I don't want to know anymore. Huh. Looks like math or something. C four five three F twelve ten H fifty five J two three two L ninety nine M twenty three O seventeen Q two four five R thirteen V six W one five one A A three two D D six two three E E forty seven F F twenty three J J five eight K K twenty one N N thirty two zero zero six Resupply B D all this stuff. What do we got? CWVA. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. I looked away for a moment to look at Chad. I don't know what it said. All Dang. these fables get magic from him. Isn't this oh, I see. booming? He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. And it's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just uh... Things that must have gone on here. He's enslaving fables. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. My watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. 
No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's why it was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Man, you certainly know a lot now that Bigby is trying to piece the puzzle pieces together. Suddenly you're all talky here. You're, you're just like, oh, now my life is an open book. Very suspicious, Mr. Butcher. Leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane stole Can't a piece. you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and disappeared off with one of the pieces. <laughs> he probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. Oh, so we're just going there anyway. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend uh, the rest we'll find of my a way short to protect you. You're on your own. My shoulder from Bloody Mary. We'll they find a way to protect you. My hand. Report to the business owner. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. No problem, buddy. It's gonna be all right. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. Thanks. Now you're permanently closed. Feel stakes. Don't mind if I don't. Jersey, don't. Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is a point of having oh, a hey. system if you're just Except gonna... My Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna... Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? What the heck happened? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't what want is going no on? part of this, pal. Uh, so get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? So I'll just calm the down. Fucking hell. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? Hello? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. Ooh. You piece of shit. Oh, shoot. Who do we. Who do we restrain everybody? Do we restrain this guy who looks like he needs to get out of the freaking 70s? Or do we restrain Woody? Who do we restrain? The guy with the fashion statement that should have died out with the 70s and the decade it was? Or Woody? First option. Okay. Uh, someone. That's who. What the, thank you. I'm very glad you, you, thank you, Chad. Uh, Jersey, okay, there's two for Jersey, all right. Anyone else? You going for Jersey? Uh, you, what, what we doing? Yourself. It's, we can't restrain ourselves. Are we restraining Jersey? Or, uh, Jersey, because it's Woody's axe at fault, right? Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna... Right, let's just stop. Let's just stop. Let's just stop here. Let's just stop. Jersey, you're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Oh, man. Okay. Back off, Jersey. Jersey, watch yourself punch, Jersey. What do we do? And he got sass. Yes. Do we back him off? Do we... Tell him to watch himself? Or do we punch his freaking mustache off of his face? Shave that hairy caterpillar! Get out of here! 
<laughs> Punch him. Give him a pizza. I don't think that's going to work in this situation. Uh, punch the 80s. Out of, punch the 80s out of him. Oh, no, there's two for punch. Oh, no, God. Um, oh, no. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for another. I shall wait with bated breath for one more. If it's just another punch, then I guess we're just going to go for punch. We're going to punch him. We're going to have to punch him, I guess. So what are we going for, folks? Punch. Gosh dang it. All right. We're punching his mustache off of his freaking face! <laughs> That's it? Oh, back off, Dear God. Dog. I just want what's mine. My ass. Wow. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still oh, sore, dear God. Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle it. All right, left click! You. Left click! Get in there! Fucker! Oh. Get in there! Slam his head into the needles. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Who do you now, stay out of this you fight? You got a lot of nerve. Ah, well. Oh dear God! I forgot that happened. <laughs> There's a reason he's called the Jersey Devil. Holy crap! Left click. Woody, it's time to tag team. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> he looks better like this, honestly. Looks really cool. Left click. Stay down. Oh, heck yeah! Left click! Left click! Ah, oh, it didn't give me a cue to keep it down. Left! A down! A left click! Punch that skull face! Punch him again! Left! Oh, rip off the horn! Rip it off! And left! Right out of there! Left! Oh, right Oh, yourself! Didn't even say what was said in the subtitles. Oh, dear God! Oh, dear God! We need some help here! Up! We need some help from this nightmare! Q! 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 Hey, asshole. I found her. Oh, good job, Woody! Good job, Woody! You've got a friend in me! Yeah! When the road is rough ahead, you'll be miles and miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old pal said. Cause you've got a friend in me. Oh, nice, Woody. Nice with the clutch, Woody. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Where do I find the crooked man? Oh yeah? I got you. Stop him! Sorry if I'm yelling too loud. But stop him! Oh yeah, I got you! Where do I find the crooked man? There's one for oh, I got you. Stop him! I got you. All right, is that all the I got yous we will get? I see, oh, now it is tie. Oh no, am I going to have to flip coins? Stop channeling your inner demon chains. I can't help it. It just comes out whenever there's violence on the screen. It's very fun. Anyway, what do we do? We have a stomp. We have a stomp. 
We have a three stomps. Okay. We got three stomps. All right. No. Stop them. Oh. Jersey will remember that. You say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Show me Crane's Mary stuff. Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. All right. Good. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. It will, if there's... Crane's coat. It will if we have a shard. We'll look at the bottom pocket first. No time for traveler's checks, huh? <laughs> we take the money or we leave the money. You think you recruited that guy in Nocturne once? <laughs> uh, SCP, who flipping care anymore? Uh, we taking this cash or we leaving the cash? What are we doing, folks? What are we doing? Who needs money? Only Wolf. <laughs> take the cos. You want me to take the cos? Take money, take money, take money, take money. Buy a bunger. That's not going to help. There's two for taking... Well, there's one for taking the cash. There's another for taking the cos. So I guess we're taking the cos. Not the cash. Cos. Okay. Time for months. You won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> you see that smirk? That's a good smirk, Bigby. That sick piece of... He stole it. The mirror shard? Is it gonna be in the pocket? Yeah! It's the shard. Finally. Yeah! Hey, Sheriff. What? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Shut him up. Leave or hear him out. Autocorrect sucks. Oh, yeah, I, I've been there plenty of times, believe me. Uh, are we shutting him up? We leaving? Or are we hearing him out? What are we doing, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, there's one shut him up. There's one shut him up. There's one dip. There are no chips around, so we can't dip. Uh, I have Reptar socks. Thank you. Uh, they, they shut him up. There's two shut him up. I can show we blind. I don't know what that means. Uh, but not open eyed. Uh, all right. I guess we're shutting him up. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. Yeah, shut the <laughs> fuck up, will ya? <laughs> okay, that was that, that was, was that was satisfying. Oh heck yeah, we gotta give Woody a smoke. He helped us out. You know we do. Yeah, give him one. Come on. There you go. You did well in there, Woody. Thanks. No problem. Shitty grand. I'm the big bad wolf, and it's You're huff welcome. and puff. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. It's Woody's redemption arc. Jersey was wrong, you know. 
About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. That's right. Is that the plan? I'm planning yeah. on it. You're damn right it is. Yeah. All right. We'll go do it then. Uh, get in the cab. I'll see you around. What's next for you? You're going to be okay. What are we going to say to him? What are we going to say? What will we say to Woody? I'll see you around, says one. There he goes with his axe. As the woodsman starts to walk down the street, Big B starts to wonder what to say to his old adversary. I'll see you around. You gonna be okay? Give him money in a room? I don't think that's, that's not an option. But what will he say and do? There is nothing we can say or do at this very moment. I just realized something. I just realized something, everyone. No, that is not right. Hold on. Darn it all! Darn it all! Ah! Admit your love? <laughs> no, we are not going to admit our love to him, Mr. Potter. I saw that desktop. Well, yeah, you saw what? Yeah, you, you saw nothing. No, you didn't see anything. There was nothing. Mr. Potter, well, I, I suppose I'll see you around. Hey, Woody. Yeah? I'll see you around, all right? Yeah, I'll see ya. Very good, Mr. Potter, Mr. Woodman, I will see you later. There's that fellow we've seen a few times around. Very good. Hug him. We can't walk him. Walk him. We can't hug him. We can't walk, but we who cannot the hug. Prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Can you just let him go? I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Oh, Hello. there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. And a belly rub. Buffkin, get this piece and a pat of on the head. Right With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Fine. Shiny man. Things are swinging back uh, in the right direction. I don't know what you mean. Good work, Bigby. You've been Thank gone you. all day. Pat my head. What did you uncover? A I lot. Thought you were going to report Crane back. Crane used the mirror. To, I mean, uh, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is, he hangs his hat. It moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. Buffkin gets back That's up how there. We're gonna do You're it. supposed to be doing it's your job, more. buddy. Really? Is I'm Sheriff, just going I could to use your assistance. I... Would you join me at the mirror? Yeah, sure. All right. Don't go I can't far. reach it. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. <laughs> Take a number. Oh yeah. Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience. Uh, so this lucky process pawn. can be a little touchy. And a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pawn. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I 
think ah. I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. This is the best way to Science, Rich. <laughs> experience this game for the first time. Well, thanks for joining. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really Damn needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and we'll Oh, we, we, we got money, though! Wait, we got money! We got the money. We can give it to Toad. Toad. Snow may not like it. I thought I made myself very clear. I see right. how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I was going talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda. I had no idea what's going on. Uh, where's the glamour? The you know the crook. I'll take you to your wallet. Check some now. Before we get into anything, what, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, everyone, give Cranes money. I'll talk to Snow about it. Well, not my fault. What are we saying? What are we saying? Do we? Shut up, phone! Would you shut up? I'm just trying to do something here. I'm getting people who are trying to talk to me, but you can be more quiet. <sighs> That's two for money. Okay, money. Give Crane's money. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. No problem, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. On the farm is always on the table. That's right. All right, hey, look at that smile. Look at that Toad smile. Oh, she's not gonna be happy, though. Oh well. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Okay. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem uh, that important. Uh, he's out of our head. I did the, the right thing. For a very I did good the right reason. thing. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. Goodness sakes, no. What do you want? You're saying all unglamored, all these unglamored, you know, characters, they gotta go to this farm. Okay, let's help him get some glamours. No! I want them to go to the farm! Okay. I know I should be so asking rude. how yeah. it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them uh, with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know, but Someone I'll find did. out. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Hey, got all the glue. I have to say, I have been Wow. Better, but thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, no I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, 
We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Um, is that a good idea? Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh god. Look away. Oh god. They talked about Magic Mirror and her. Oh god, no! Oh god! What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks no like problem. We'll have to track him down Imagine later. Mirror. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Wait, so mirrors can feel pain? That that opens up a lot of questions. Okay. Big B, uh, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. All right, I'm holding on. The door, it moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. All right, wait. let's do this, Bigby. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. Uh, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll bring I'll him back alive. You. Bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here <laughs> while I prepare the case against him. So I'm Good. going to trust you to handle this properly. I hear that, that if we put him on a slow simmer, ready. that meat will just or fall right off the bone. I got no other choice. The Gothic Bridge. That's not gothic. There's no black paint anywhere. Right, baby, here we go. Dept. All right. We're opening the portal door. Oh, shoot! We're crossing into another dimension. W! In we go! Shoot. Who's it? It's a gun and a cane! Get him! Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. Uh, shake hand. Tiny. Yo, what's up, Tim? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You're expecting me? You've just been... Waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this All is right. the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks, Tim. I didn't know that... Uh... A Christmas Carol was considered a fable. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably uh, the last person you'd expect to be a guard. No, you have a job to do. It. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. 
is the only option I've got. Just uh. keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. You should I leave. Can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait, wait up, for Sheriff? him? Yeah, but okay, we'll wait. Thanks. It's a fable about an old man who's so rich he sees three ghosts and I think the reality of the lost one killed him. Who is he? Uh, uh, you first. Go ahead. You got a job to do. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, George? Oi, it's you. What's going on? He has the force. My God. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. All right. We're at the crooked man's office. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. We got Georgie, we got the Dean. We have a seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. Uh. Alright, let's talk. Let's be nice about this. Alright, you got me here. Let's talk. And it seems. that that. Is the end of episode four. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, now they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well. <clears throat> to be continued. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 63.2% of players went to the cut above first. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 73.3% of players decided Toad should not go to the farm. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 41% of... 8% of players agreed to talk with him first. Okay, so I'm only in the minority in the last one. All right. And that's it. We are now officially at the end credits. Of episode four. Next up will be episode five. It will be magnificent. Very magnificent. So yeah, everyone. What'd you think? What'd you think of this episode? I think it was pretty good. I liked it. I was a little afraid of the butcher. I, I completely forgot if there was anything bad that happened to the butcher, but uh, I also, there was a wolf. 
There was a wolf. And it was among us. I need more. I liked it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. He was among us. Indeed, he was. To be completely honest, I cannot wait until they release season two. But obviously, before that, we have episode five to get to. That's gonna be one heck of a ride. One heck of a ride indeed. Number one bacon friend. Yes, Colin is the number one bacon friend. Very special things, Bill Willingham and Mark Buckingham. There's a lot of telltale pets. Harley Quinn and Ivy, wait a second here. A pet's named Harley Quinn and Ivy? Wow. I love these telltale games. They, yeah, they are good. And now it's time to take a look at the extras like we do each time. Uh, we'll look at the Book of Fables first. All right, we got all this. Okay, all right. Silver bullets, wolf sweetness. The legends of great and magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body's weakness his system slows his healing and cause long-term damage. Acting Deputy Snow White with Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture, and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fabletown falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane. But now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking. politicking. What the heck is that word? She had not previously been exposed to. The Jersey Devil, God and State Goon. Not all of the fables who come to this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the farthest corners of the earth, and there are those who simply prefer the God and State to the Empire State. Such is the Jersey Devil. Reports of its appearance are varied, although most accounts make mention of leathery wings. But an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. What is axe? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Johan the Butcher. His name is often said in the same breath as that of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other tradesmen, Johan the Butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. For Johan's business has fallen on hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of his products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked man, some have started to wonder if they ever really knew Johan. Bluebeard's money. Sure. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to Fabletown government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors, or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fabletown exists to insult him from the Monday world. Insulate him? I think it's supposed to be isolate. As much as his money can be a sword, it can also serve as a shield. The Crooked Layer. The Crooked Man. All right. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operations started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let him stand in his way in his rise, the crooked man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them from what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Tiny Tim. 
<laughs> Sentry! <laughs> While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Mundy world's knowledge of them, for a select few that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is an in integral part of a fable story, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least. And no medical care or magic, rather none that he can afford, can heal his leg. And life on the farm. All right. Achievements. Now the new achievements. Once upon a time, there was a wolf who ruled the land. He was much feared, but soon he was mended. He mended his evil ways, and all were happy. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, everyone. I want to give a big old thank you for joining in if you did live, or joining in on YouTube, or watching the VOD on Twitch. Thank you all very much for watching episode 4 of The Wolf Among Us, and I will see you all later. Au revoir, arrivederci, and goodbye.